Hello, um, <coughs> hello, YouTubers. Okay. I'm going to show you something that I've been working on for the past few months now. Um, it's about PF Sense and what it does and what it's for. And I'm hoping to share <clears throat> what I found out when using it, while using it. What software I've installed. And what it's showing me about the net or the internet. Forgive me for my accent. I'm a Filipino. Been here in Florida for years. <clears throat> I'm a tech geek. And that's my website. Um, I haven't been... <clears throat> involved with the website for a while, so bear with me. Okay, <clears throat> going back to the main topic here. Um, so PFSense is a software hardware firewall <clears throat> based in Linux, uh, mainly FreeBSD, <clears throat> one of the secured, uh, most secured Linux distribution. <clears throat> most web servers are based on Linux even Apple is based on <clears throat> Linux <clears throat> or Unix okay so this is what's going on so I've installed VFSense uh, initially uh, on a mini PC run by <coughs> powered by Celeron it's a dual core probably running at 1.9 gigahertz <coughs> but later on um, since steam is choking processing power so I went to Xeon and that's what I have been using for a couple months now <clears throat> it's powerful enough even to detect or scan most of the packet that comes in all right now I'm also gonna show you a website which is um, Talos. It's a Cisco <coughs> or a Cisco based website. Talos or the website is talosintelligence.com. It's a collection of software, uh, vulnerability information, reputation center. Those are the website that might contain email and web traffic threats they also have a uh, IP blacklist if you want to download it and save it on your firewall if you have a specific or a special firewall the blocks website but you have to do it manually they also have libraries of recent publications in presentations regarding web securities snort um, support communities including snort clum AV project ace aspis and spam cop included a Taylor's blog or videos
um, to me it's one of the best site to search for any IP threat that comes to my network okay I don't have anything special in my house I don't have any servers running I have multiple devices that connects to the internet I have um, I don't have cable so most of my devices are streaming um, I have Amazon in Google TV or Chromecast and those are the one that connects to the internet obviously I have my uh, desktop computer and laptops so most of the device that I have has to connect to the internet for it to function right the issue there is some of those I can control some of the device I can't all right I'm relying on Amazon and Google uh, f for them to block whatever threat is coming from the internet they get frequent updates and I just have to protect my uh, protect them from getting illegitimate signal or um, packets from unknown IP addresses that's where um, uh, PFSense, PFSense comes in alright so let me try and show you PFSense, my PFSense um, my screenshot on PFSense okay alright, I hope you can see this let me see it quick alright Showing up, yep, 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 okay. Sorry about that. So, on the left side, you're seeing my BF Sense um, firewall. We're at my application stalled called Snort. Let me show you what Snort does. All right. What is Snort? It's an open source intrusion prevention system capable of real time traffic analysis and packet logging. All right. So that's what it does. Now, this from 11.50. We're going back. Nope. From 11.50 down to 12.35. Our current time is 12.35. Okay. I already have 40. This is just in a few minutes. I have 44 host IP addresses that's being blocked by Snort. Okay, why is it being blocked? Okay. Snort give gives me rules. And if you sign up with Snort, you're able to download rules. Um regarding or what IP addresses behaves 
let's say you're getting IP uh, a, a packet from Amazon that should go in through your network all right now if you're getting something from Russia why does Russia have to connect to your network in the first place I don't know so snort automatically blocks anything any packet that comes from Russia based on their IP address now let's say it's unknown it's gonna scan the packet or anything any data that goes in and says okay there's something wrong with this packet it contains malicious codes so it's gonna block it too that's what snort and pfSense does okay uh, pfSense let me show you is the main firewall okay if you're not gonna if you're going to go just for the firewall part go ahead it can run in minimum specs software probably dual core 8 gigs RAM that's fine but since you're running this system why not include snort right okay so going back to the, its capability so we have this IP addresses the la latest one is this one the pipe 5.84821 so that's an IP address coming from where and what that why does it say active threat intelligence poor reputation so let's go back to Talos and see where's that IP address coming from paste it here search okay Russia Russia has been sending spread is scanning the net why I don't know is it a threat yes it is I'm not hope looking for anything coming from Russia so why is it trying to go in my network as I said I don't have anything special running in my house I just have multiple internet device and that's it no servers no nothing but it's trying to get into my network now I have this smart setup a router that filters anything from the net tells me what's going on where it's coming from I'm shielded now if you are relying on your router that came from your internet service provider well you might want to think about that one okay this is how it goes one of your device one of your computer might have been sending signals from a, to a foreign country and that country gets a the packet it responds back tries to go into your network and might do anything malicious I'm not saying but why do we have to there's a reason why for them to go into your system since I don't have anything I don't see anything going out all of these signals are going in trying to go into my network all right let's check the second one on the list this one 37194 so that one the first one is from Russia paste where's that coming from Mm -hmm. all right oh another one from Russia okay we got a couple here and it says it's neutral poor so and I already got four of them here oh five mm, since July they've been sending packets so this is one two three four five, six times tries to go into my network why I don't know all right let's try this one I'm choosing random 
IP address listed here. So let's go back to Talos and see what this one shows. China. Why is it coming from China? Don't know why. All right. So that's being blocked. Let's scroll down. See, from twelve thirty-five to from eleven fifty a.m. to twelve thirty-five. So in a few couple minutes, I I already have forty-four block IP addresses inbound to my going inside to my network. Somebody told me at work, why are you getting all of these? Why are you being hacked? Well, I said, I have a smart system that detects everything that's in incoming. It's like having a camera outside in your house. You know, everything that's, you know, going around in the dark. Well, if you don't have anything, you don't have any detection system you won't know Let's see what this ap address oh, okay and the last one is coming from china too see so we don't know what's going on why is it coming all of it coming from china all right so okay now, all of this is being scanned from the net and everything that goes into my house is being filtered and blocked. And all depends on the rule set given, given to me by Snort. Now, why do I rely on Snort? Snort is from Cisco and they're the one see that they're the leader of web of network security Everyone's familiar with Cisco. So they have Snort. Okay, also part of that, let me show you what else. Okay, I've shown you what it does and why is it blocking those sites. Let me show you this one. Package Manager. So I have Snort this one squid is a proxy so what it does is it speeds up it's like a cache cache that's what my son said everything that comes in and speed up the process download upload okay I do have a fast internet connection but having this I'm able to use a web URL filter now the web URL filter includes this one uh, clam AV it's an open source antivirus engine for detecting Trojan viruses malware and other malicious threat okay so it's like an antivirus in your network before they go in so I have both of these running um, some of these I might end up getting depending on depending on pfSense if it starts to support I am hoping to get decryption part
and um, immunet. Okay. So let me focus on. Let me talk about the third one. Yeah. Okay, switching to this mode. All right, okay, so we're focused on this mode now. Okay, we're back to open source PFSense. Okay, so I have set this up for a couple of months now, it's been working good. Um, I have to tweak it a little because sometimes it blocks Amazon um, packets uh, and I need Amazon for my TV um, but you uh, with snort you can modify stuff and said okay I need this packet don't block it ignore it okay sometimes it get too sensitive of blocking stuff. Alright, so if you prefer to protect yourself, you can buy this devices or you can build your own. You can have it this one is the cheapest one I guess. It's uh arm based second one is an intel atom based if you have multiple devices at home i would suggest get the one with uh, this one model xg 1541 1u it's eight core no not that one this one xg 27581u it's an Intel Atom uh, 8 core. Why? Uh, if you're planning to install Snort in a couple of apps of that filters the internet, I would suggest to get a faster CPU, multiple core, more memory, and an SSD drive. This one looks good. It's medium business to large business, uh, 20 watt on idle or idle it's power efficient mine I have to get it from eBay build it from ground up it's been working good for me but that's the best thing about PFSense you can get your own software right and I will, would also suggest if you're planning to uh, play uh, Steam games, Steam Max is out your throughput or your bandwidth. Even with my setup, it. Let me see if I can put my setup here. Even with my setup, every time it pull something it was, uh, okay mine is an Intel Xeon um, CPU it's 1220 running at 3.1 3.10 gigahertz currently I'm running at um, 1800 at idle it stays at 1800 with four cores okay one thing i got this one is it has a hardware hardware crypto cpu um, lately um pf sense updated their firmware to support aes and i so later on they might be able to decrypt and encrypt 
um, on the fly open VPN I haven't um, set that up yet I'm not planning to connect to my sn to my network outside I'm completely blocking everything from the outside So if you have any question um, regarding my setup, um, send me a message. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and, or YouTube, this channel. If you need to suggest something, or if I need to tweak something, just let me know. Alrighty. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Bye.